If, like many of us, you are shortly heading off on your summer holidays or vacation, perhaps to warmer climbs or just somewhere with climbs, you're probably going to want to take your bike with you. However, few things bring more dread to your holiday going cyclist than traveling with your beloved bike. You first have to pack it and then you've got to lug it to the airport and then you have to lug it around the airport and finally you have to surrender your beloved bike to those baggage handlers. Quite frankly, it's enough to give you nightmares. However, that is where this week's unboxing comes into play. Well, less of an unboxing on this occasion as a boxing, really. This is the Topic Pack Go X bike box and we've got one to give away. This is Topic's first foray into the world of bike boxes, and we think they are on to a winner. Now, one of the neatest features of the Pack Go X is this little frame inside. Uh, you mount your frame onto this frame, and then this mounts inside the box. It's a really easy way of packing your bike. As you can see, it's also removable. So if you need to work on your bike whilst you're away, you can kind of use it as a mini work stand. Really though, in essence and in general, it's just a much easier way to disassemble and assemble your bike at either end of your trip. All you do is pop your wheels off, pop your pedals off, and then put your frame onto this frame. This internal frame has mounts to accommodate standard rim brake quick release bikes, as we've got here today, uh, but also for 12 by 100 millimeter through axles, which is about as close as you can get to a standard when it comes to road bike disc brake hubs. It also comes with, wait for it, get this, a dummy hub forward slash chain keeper. Now, Sai si is going to be pretty excited about this. I am over the moon excited because I, as you know, have got a slight fetish when it comes to chain keepers. And what this does is keep tension on your chain so it doesn't flap about in transit and chip your nice bike. Uh, this is again, of course, for your standard quick release bike. If you are running disc brakes and through axles, you just use this and then put the through axle through the frame. Topic also provide inside the box this kind of foam pipe insulation type stuff to protect your frame. Uh, you could of course go down to your local DIY store and buy this fairly easily, but it's a nice touch that they include it and not something that we've seen with other bike boxes. Uh, you cut this up to size uh, for your own personal frame and fork tubes, but we're gonna be leaving this today because this is the box that we are going to be giving away to one lucky winner. Uh, also included inside the box is this, which is a neat little drivetrain prote protector. Projector? Protector. Uh, this, once again, just keeps your chain neatly in place and prevents it from rattling around uh, whilst it's on the aeroplane. Just as with the vast majority of bike boxes, you will need to remove your stem and your handlebars from the fork steerer tube. But unlike most bike boxes, uh, Topic have included this headset spacer, which means that you can keep your forks tight and your headset tight and stop them from rattling about. Uh, again, you could do without this, but it just goes to show the extra thought processes that they've put in into designing this Bike Go X. Now this is the part where we would normally be cutting up some of that foam padding and putting it on one side of the fork leg. We'll be leaving that uh, for the purposes of this today. But they do provide these three specific pads, which I'm about to put on, which protect your frame and your cables from getting damaged whilst the bike is in transit. That is very neat, very secure, and really easy. Also included is a seat post protector sleeve. Secure the seat like so, and then wait for this. I've never seen anything like this before. It slots down here through your seat stays, through your chain stays. This Velcro then sits up against your drive chain protector. You bring this part over the top, around your chain keeper, then take these bits around your seat stays, like so, and pull them, 
tight. And there is your seat. Strapped in neatly and securely. And that means we're about ready to put our frame on a frame into the box, which is also very simple. All you do is line up the front, line up the back, and hinge it in like so. Next up, we're going to put the wheels in the wheel bags, which are front and rear specific. Uh, pretty obvious which one's which. I'm gonna put the rear one in that one. And we're pretty much done. Uh, all that remains is to make sure that we don't forget to take our pedals. Uh, you can put them in one of the two little pockets here on the side. I'm gonna use this one next to the wheels where I'm also going to store, well, I've just done that up. I'll undo that. Where I'm also going to store my Allen keys. And you can, of course, put any other spares in there as well that you want to take with you. Zip that up and hopefully, look at that. And there she is, in all her glory. As you can see, contrary to most bike boxes out there, uh, this Park Go X has an upright design with four wheels at the bottom. And I can tell you, it's very, very easy indeed to maneuver about. Probably also means that when you're going through a very busy airport, you're less likely to get people knocking into your bike box as you go on through to check-in. How much does this thing weigh? Well, without the bike inside, it comes in at 12.8 kilograms, which is slightly on the heavy side for a bike box. But when you consider that there is that internal removable frame and all the security that this thing offers, I'd say that's pretty competitive. How do you get your hands on one? Well, as ever, there is a link in the description below. Just follow that and all the details will be there for you. And I can honestly say I wish you the best of luck because I'd quite like to get my hands on this myself. Right, give this video a thumbs up down below if you've enjoyed it. Uh, we actually first saw this bike box at Eurobike last year in late 2017. Uh, if you'd like to see our first look there along with a whole other load of tech, why not click on the video which is just down there. <laughs>